I don't mean to go off on a rant here, but you know what? I do mean to. Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. When was the last time you went off on a rant? On a long and passionate comment on some topic that really motivated you to just vent? I've done that more than a few times. I'm sure you have too. Now when was the last time you wrote up that rant and posted it to your blog? Or on social media? Me, I posted something like that on my blog just last week about Facebook. I've done that so many times I've even labeled it my semi-annual Facebook rant. <laughs> if you'd like to read that, just go to my blog at programwitch.com. I'll have a link to it in the show notes. Now, I don't want to go into that right now, or I'm going to spend this entire podcast complaining about Facebook. Again. <laughs> I've written up several rants on all sorts of things, everything from politics to uh, getting the wrong order at the drive through But a lot of these rants I've never published. The act of just writing it down gets it out of my system. I could have posted each and every one of these rants to my blog or on social media. It's very easy to do. And that's kind of the problem. It's too easy. How many times have you had a knee-jerk reaction to something? Someone says something you disagree with, or you read an upsetting headline and you just go off. You don't think about it, you just start typing, and all of a sudden you posted a long rant on your blog or on Facebook. There's a problem with that. Now, I'm not going to say all the time. Seriously, not all the time. But <laughs> you're probably wrong because you didn't get all the facts first. You just reacted and posted. And in this day and age of posting without thought on social media, those comments you made can and likely will come back to haunt you someday. It's okay to go on a rant. It's good to vent. Oh yes, it's so good. There are times when you just have to rage against the night or go to your window and shout, I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. There are times when that's appropriate. Do it. You'll feel better. Maybe your point will get across. Maybe you'll change some minds. But here's some friendly advice. Think about it first. Write it up, but don't publish right away. Go back. Reread it. Get your facts straight. Cool down a bit. Tune your argument. And then post. Now, if you excuse me, the Republican-controlled Oklahoma legislature just passed something really stupid. Again. And Facebook just now let me know about it. I've got some writing to do. Here are the top five tomato varieties we'll be planting in our garden this season. Number five, Roma Paste. Number four, Sweet Million. Number three, Husky Red. Number two, Something Without a Label on It. And the number one tomato variety we're going to be planting in our garden this season is Mr. Stripey. I didn't get to exercise a lot over the last few weeks, so I've got nothing to report on that. Uh, whatever flu bug I got a few weeks ago, I'm just now really recovering from. So hopefully I can get back into exercising this week. I really, I actually kind of miss it. <laughs> but, wow, don't get sick. It sucks. <laughs> but while I was down, I got to binge watch a couple of shows. First, check out Season 2 of Daredevil on Netflix. Wow, what a great show that is. I highly recommend it. If you haven't even seen season one yet, go binge watch both seasons. It's worth it. They did an awesome job with it. That was Daredevil on Netflix. Now, and it even makes me want to watch Luke Cage when it comes out this sub September. These uh, Netflix Marvel series are just great. So please check them all out. That's uh, Daredevil, 
Uh, Jessica Jones and Luke Cage will be coming out in September. The other show I binged watched on YouTube is called Platoon of Power Squadron. It's hilarious. Please go check it out. I'll have a link to it in the show notes. Uh, I just couldn't believe it when I discovered the show. Uh, just just a bunch of people up there in the uh, Chicago area filming on weekends. They've been doing this for a couple of years now. Great job. Great show. Check it out. Hilarious. That was the Platoon of Power Squadron. This week's Blog Oklahoma writing suggestion is Go on a rant. You'll feel better. <laughs> I'm taking the Instagram Blog Month Challenge again this month. If you'd like to follow along, please follow Blog Oklahoma on Instagram. The challenge is simple. Write and post something new every day for an entire month. You can find details about it at blogoklahoma.com slash blogmonth. Are you someone who blogs in or about Oklahoma? Then you already qualify for Web Ring membership. Join Blog Oklahoma today. Want to know more about Blog Oklahoma? Then just explore the Web Ring and discover some of the best blogs and podcasts in the nation. Just visit blogoklahoma.com for more information. Did you know we have our own cafe press store? There you can purchase a t-shirt, coffee mug, tote bag, and other great items with the Blog Oklahoma podcast artwork on them. Just head on over to cafepress.com slash podcast. I've added even more great music to the Blog Oklahoma bonus playlist. Seriously, please go check it out. There is now almost nine hours of music for you to enjoy. You can listen to the playlist on Spotify or watch it on YouTube. I'll have links to them and more in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. And thank you for listening to the Blog Oklahoma podcast. I'm happy to announce as of May 1st, 2016, Blog Oklahoma has... 904 registered Oklahoma bloggers. Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Check our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's episode. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time. Thank <laughs> you.